When Pastor Trish asked me to speak about healing, I thought it would be easy because 2000 has certainly been the year of my healing. But it isn't easy. It's hard to share. To go back a little, I came to this church in 2012. I was very depressed. I came here because Peter came here to be the music director. I hadn't gone to church for a while. It was hard when my husband was ill. Then I didn't want to go because I was hurt and angry because he died. My husband Phil had been my first date, my first kiss. My husband for 42 years. We shared joy and hardship, raised two sons and raised a grandson. We went through his nine year illness together. I had no life left. I was an empty nester whose plan for a great retirement with lots of travel was over. 2012 and 13 and 14 passed with very little improvement for me. I was depressed, cried a lot, especially at church. Phil had been my spiritual shepherd. What now? I believed in Phil and he believed in God and that had worked for me. I didn't know the Bible or I guess know God. I knew that God had given up on me when I was so mad at him. I wanted to die. There was no reason to live. No one needed me. No one cared enough to see through my pain. I sat alone in church, and if I wasn't in the choir, I felt alone. I didn't stay for fellowship because no one spoke to me. Then one Sunday when I couldn't stop crying, Pastor Trish came back into the sanctuary to talk to me. I was devastated and desolated. I had hit rock bottom. She sat with me and touched my hand and listened to my sadness. She wanted to help and asked me to come talk to her. It took me a while, but I did go talk to her. I told her I had no purpose, but a little part of me wanted to believe that God might have a purpose for me if I could forgive, if he could forgive me for being so mad at him. She talked about my part in the healing, taking baby steps, becoming a part of this church. She invited me to join a Bible study and both learn and take a chance on making a friend. It was quite a revelation to think I needed to help myself. But I wanted to believe she was right, that God had not given up on me. Going to a Bible study was scary. Singing in the choir was hard. Believing God cared about me seemed impossible, but slowly, as I listened to others and shared and learned, I began to understand my part in this a little better. One evening, I was so sad again at Bible study, and someone else in the group cried because of my story. I realized then I could choose to be a positive or a negative influence. I studied and read and prayed lots more and made a decision to be purposely joyful to be thankful every day. My new philosophy has become to take in joy and give out peace. So every day I'm learning to be more positive, to look for joy, to be purposefully thankful, to spread my wings and be a little less afraid. Today's devotional I read said, go and care for the people you love and for those you do not yet love. So touch someone sad, to sit with someone alone, to share a Bible verse, to invite someone to church or to a different activity could save them, even heal them. I think it saved me.